In this video, we will look at calculating the tax liability of a non-resident landlord using a case for a corporation tax module, including the areas that will differ due to recent legislative changes. The tax regime changed from the 6th of April 2020, with non-resident companies paying corporation tax on UK property income from this date rather than the income tax. I am currently in the corporation tax wizard of a non-resident landlord file for the tax year 2019-20. I will open up the SA700 worksheets and go to the company information section. When I have opened up these worksheets and within the company and correspondence section, you can see that I have prepared the tax return for 1920. For the next financial year, the liability will be calculated as corporation tax and will require completion of the CT600 form rather than the SA700. I am now in that rolled forward file. The first thing I will highlight is that if I go to the document manager and the corporation tax folder within it, the document I previously looked at has now been replaced by this management expenses document, which will require completion instead. I have now opened up and navigated to the Corporation Tax Wizard. The first amendment I need to make is in terms of my accounting period. Under the old income tax regime, tax was payable for the rent tax year, i.e. for the year from 6th of April. Under the new regime, tax would be payable for the accounting period the company prepares its accounts for. In my example, this is the 31st of December 2020. I will go into the Accounting Periods and Dates section and select the option to amend my Accounting Period end date. The Engagement Properties window will open up and I can then input the appropriate year end of the company, as I said, in this case 31-12-2020. Once I have done this, back in the Corporation Tax Wizard, I should select the option to Correct Dates and then Update Subdocuments. Note that the revised Accounting Period end date may result in a revised filing and payment due date based on the company year-end date. Please make sure that the end taxpayer is aware of these revised deadlines. I will return to the company details section. Notice that the drop-down menu has changed from non-resident landlord to foreign company. I need to enter the new UTR tax reference number as we are now paying under the corporation tax rather than income tax regime. The previous UTR will not roll forward and the majority of relevant taxpayers will have received a new UTR by the 30th of June 2020 from HMRC. In certain circumstances, taxpayers may not have done so. For example, new non-resident landlords. And if you not receive one, then please contact HMRC. I can now focus on worksheet completion. I will need to set up my capital allowance pools next. The previous SA700 documents did not provide detailed information on capital allowances, but these can now be entered on the CT600 worksheets. I will also need to consider any losses that have been brought forward. These losses are ring-fenced as income tax property losses and can only be offset against future UK property rental income. I will go to my Losses, Deficits and Excess Amounts worksheet and you can see that the brought forward losses are there automatically and can be allocated in the current period or carried forward as appropriate. That concludes this video.